This is called a stop sign. This is a real object that exists in this universe. Sometimes, a human finds itself in a suboptimal location and seeks to remedy this affliction. It does so by moving to another, more acceptable place. And luckily, the human has many means of conveyance in this regard. If the distance to the desired location is small, the human may push against the earth with its symmetrical stilts of bone and meat, one after the other, in a lumbering display of perpetually imbalanced forward locomotion. This is called walking. If the distance is very large, the human may instead be propelled through the atmosphere in a tube of winged machinery. But if the distance is somewhere in between, the human may employ a device called an automobile or car. This machine harnesses the explosive potential of fossilized microbial fluids to get a human from A to B. A and B, incidentally, are the first letters in one of humankind's many alphabets. You see, humans are flesh computers, and they encode information in accordance with regional rule sets by vibrating their neck flesh and flapping their face flesh. This is called speech. An alphabet, then, is a set of symbols which can represent these sounds, but may have more abstract functions. These glyphs can be arranged into structures called words, which evoke meaning within the minds of any humans who understand how to decrypt them. As a demonstration, I can write this word down. And if a human were to observe it, it would certainly conjure an image of Canadian actor-comedian Brent Butt in their mind, and nothing else at all. Stop is another such word. It means, roughly, don't do that thing, or halt the process you are currently undertaking, something like that. It is printed out on red octagons in various languages throughout pretty much all of human civilization. This is because a car is 2,000 kilograms of metal and machinery, and even at low speeds it can absolutely demolish one or more human bodies. And as a reminder, these lethal contraptions are being piloted by flesh computers, with their bony appendages and imperfect eyeballs. And so, the humans have implemented a series of regional rule sets, which are expected to be followed by all who drive. In this context, a stop sign actually means to start slowing the car down in order to minimize the destruction of human flesh, and more importantly, ensure the smooth flow of traffic. This is a real object that exists in this universe. But like, if we're being honest, no one comes to a complete stop if they don't have to. I mean, I mean like, no one. Like, literally.